All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We're back with the uh, the Ranger. Uh, I made a, an adjustment. I don't know if you people read it or whatever. On my uh, last video, I talked about how the turbo kit needed to be redone, and well, that's exactly what I did today. Uh, I grinded it out. I bought a nice new tool here, and this makes it amazing. Right here, a chop saw, an abrasive chop saw up and down, and. Uh, it's a lot easier than using the uh, good old trusty grinder without a shield or anything. That's sketchy. But uh, here we are, and as you can see, the turbos are off to the side now. Um, don't mind the beautiful welding. Uh, as you can see, I that's my first time pie cutting something, and it seemed to work rather well. Um, I set it to 15 degrees, I cut it both ways, and I ended up with a I guess a nice little pie cut contraption. This one I just cut, flipped it, rewelded it. And as you can see, the turbos are off to the side and this whole area is free now. I had the turbo sideways with the exhaust and it turned into a big spaghetti uh, between the coolant lines and the radiator and the fan and this huge uh, three inch cold side and then the two, uh, two inch cold sides and the merge and it was just a, a disaster. So I, I put the turbos here and uh, all the feed lines and everything is still, still the same. Everything worked out. Um, as you can see, this also makes my life better when I want to put dual exhaust because you just send it down that way. And this one, I mean, if you can't fit a pipe through there, I don't know what to tell you. But the whole mess was the spaghetti before. It was touching this tube up here, which as you can see, I used two silicone 90s. And uh, this is gonna work out fantastic. I took the top factory hose and I put it on the bottom. See, down there. And this is just an inch and a half to inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter to inch and a quarter. And I'm just going to put a steel tube, aluminum tube, whatever goes there, and a cup and uh, clamps, and that's it. That's done. And uh, I bought some extras, so in the event that they pop, it's fine. But this is silicone. It should be rather durable. So that's that. All I need to really get done are uh, just miscellaneous wiring things. Um, obviously, this tube. Um, a fan. This is the stock radiator. I cut this up for it. I leaned it forward. And uh, the other one was just, it was too big, too much of a mess. All, everything would have just been a disaster. But this works out. And if I need a thicker one, I can get the Explorer, which is double thick, about, well, as you can see here, it's about that thick. And it just drops right in. Uh, down there, let's see if we can get down here. I made a merge for the two turbos before they go into the. Um, intercooler and um, you can see more turbo I think it's pretty cool that you can see it from the outside of the car there she is and it's nowhere near the turbo I mean near the tires also this exhaust was facing out and it turned out to be pointing right at the intercooler piping and at the tires and it was just a mess but this this is pretty neat uh, welding is ugly as always but what can you do with the trusty $90 welder obviously build a turbo kit but uh, the main thing to take away from this video is uh, that abrasive chop saw is amazing. For $159, completely worth it uh, compared to you know the DeWalt grinder. Um, also, this is amazing. Electric uh, impact 90 ratchet thing. It's fantastic. So we just got to button up those things. This worked out like a charm because these are this is $4 and this is $4. No, you need a tube in between. And uh, there you have it, you know? And we also got to do the down pipes. Um, should be fine. Yeah, the pipe cut worked out. Uh, it, it looks like I intended to do whatever it did, but that's just how it ended up. Uh, also, this freed up some room for something else. Uh, normally, the power steering is here on the truck brackets. So maybe I can get a power steering pump and bracket from the trucks and bolt it in here. And that would make my life much better. Driving a car, this without power steering was a disaster. I can't imagine a truck, so that's where we're at. Uh, obviously these down pipes will fit, but it's probably just gonna be a little hack and hack and twist, and it'll go right in. I gotta keep, gotta take out the rest of the inner fender back there. But that's where we are. The transmission's done. Drive shaft is done. It, almost everything is done. It's just the, the cooling system and, and I guess the exhaust now and a uh, power steering pump if I want to do that. But this freed up so much more room. I'm really happy with this. Welding looks like shit, but 
what can you do? Anyway, kids, check back later. There's a little update for you. Peace.